button on this to save it for posterity. I think scripts are, they make you dependent, they make you nervous, they diminish your confidence. What you need is logic. What you need is a system of sales, uh, not memorizing little cute little answers to questions. You don't want to cross-examine the um, the prospect. I don't care if you're in real estate, life insurance, selling Porsches, whatever you're doing, you want to get the prospect to know, like, and trust you. You have to sound different. You have to be a one percenter, as I always say. If you're using a script or just going into a long diatribe, a presentation, your rejection rate goes sky high. It goes right up to the ceiling, okay? You want to sound different. You want to use pattern interrupts. You want to use a system like guts, like mine, and I'll have a link in the box here uh, so you guys can get a free copy of my book. I'm also working on an audio book right now. That should be out pretty soon. Um, uh, let me show you um, what I'm talking about here uh, on my share screen here. Let's go here. Bear with me. Uh, Just share the desktop here. It's the easiest way to go about this. And um, hope you can see this. Um, here is one uh, I got from my student. Um, uh, are you the owner of the house? Okay, not a bad question. Uh, but what you want to say in, up front initially with people is, hey, um, I'm an investor. Uh, uh, if you're, your house isn't available, is it? Oh, it is. I'd like to make you an offer today. And when you say this to people, now you've got their attention. You sound different. If you call them up, hi, I'm just reaching out. I'd like to talk to you about your house. Are you the owner of the house? And you could do this cross-examine. You sound exactly like your competition. Here's the, here's the premise, the logic behind it. You're not the first phone call. Okay. You're the 41st phone call uh, calling these people. So do you want to um, sound unique, different? Do you want to get their attention? You better sound different, not use the same old tired script. Um, here it goes on. Uh, and if they answer no, if possible, I need all owners present when I come. And as, and anyone else gets it. Boy, this is phonetic. Oh, God, language on this thing is horrible. And, and anyone else involved in making the decisions. OK, so what's a good time when both of you can be present? You see, this is all time wasting stuff. This is the this is the stuff that it takes it takes all the fun out of selling when you have stuff like this here. You want to get right into it. Uh, you set an agenda with the prospect. You say, "Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, I want to make an offer on your property. If it's still available, it's okay to say no or fire me. Um, but I'm very serious. I'd like to make you an offer today and get an answer today, if at all possible." Uh, on the property, I'm ready to send you a contract. Are you the person, um, are you the decision maker on the property? Are there other decision makers on this? Okay, if you say now is a good time to call, that's in that script I was showing you. Uh, uh, that's, an, uh, that's a closed ended question. All I gotta say is no, call me at another time. They've already received 10 phone calls today. You say, is now a good time? Could I have a minute of your time? You're setting yourself up for rejection. Don't do stuff like that. When you get them on the phone, go for it. Just go for it. Don't waste time when you speak to somebody. Um, sound Just sound don't don't use scripts. I think the way you get good at this is you speak to a couple of people every day. You practice. I talk about this all the time. If you don't have enough leads, practice with the Walmart greeter. Practice with the the checkout girl at the Safeway or the Shoprite or the Pathmark. Is Pathmark still around? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. And, you know, talk to people and learn to ask questions blended with stroking and nurturing, so you can get into a dialogue or conversation. Don't delegate your marketing to third parties in third world countries. It's dumb. It doesn't work. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just take responsibility for your business. You want to make a lot of money. You make the phone calls. You do the negotiation. You do the contract. You follow up. That's what I did. A lot of work. You better believe it. Is it worth it? Yes. A lifetime of having more money than you need, being debt free. That's how you do it. I know everybody says, well, we've got to use our, our funnels and our AI and we got to delegate and build a team and all that. I'm just telling you right now, all that's bullshit. You want to make a lot of money? 
you pick up the phone, you talk to people, you get them on Zoom, you ask questions, and you make offers. So you have to do your due diligence first. A lot of gurus say, do your due diligence first, okay? And you know what the problem is? You do your due diligence, then you can't even, you, you can't get them on the phone, or you find out they don't want to do the deal or anything. Just go for it. Call them up. Find out if there's a level of motivation. You can find a need, create a need, or exacerbate a need, and talk to these people and make some offers. And if you find out later on the property isn't worth the value that they gave you, or it needs extensive repairs, they always say, oh, it's in wonderful shape. And then you find out they have a dog shit collection in the closet. Pardon my language. Um, you know, it's it's silly. Don't you can fix that later. You can come back and renegotiate, but start off right away saying, I'm interested in your property. I want to make you an offer. Can I ask you a few questions? Let just go for it, guys. Just go for it. Oh, the due diligence and all that stuff is a waste of time if you don't know they're if you can't get them on the phone in the first place or they start ghosting you. We can talk, God, I can do two hours on how to avoid ghosting. Okay, getting that strong commitment up front. Let's look at a little bit more of I hit my screen share here. And um, let's go to another one of these uh, brilliant scripts. Hi, my hi, this is Richard calling about your home. You discussed with my assistant yesterday. Don't use assistants. I am um, there's probably exceptions to this rule. I found out that training assistants, it's just it, it's a waste. Okay. Um they're just making phone, these poor, miserable people who are making phone call after phone call and trying to set you up appointments. I'm sure there's some good ones out there. In my experience, most of the phone callers and everything, it's just a waste of time and money. Do it yourself. Get good leads, positive leads, get warm prospects, and you make the calls yourself directly. Speak to five people a day. Challenge yourself. Can I speak to two, three, four, five people a day? Can I make offers every day? Can I send contracts and follow up every day? And you will have a great business. If you're in capital sales, information sales, real estate sales, you've got to take, this is your takeaway moment, guys. You've got to take responsibility for your business. Okay. I run a very successful business. I still do it. I still love it. I could have retired years ago. And I just found out over the years, hiring employees are a pain in the butt. I know I was an employee for a lot of companies. I was a pain. We all bring her, you know, you got to train them, then they leave or they bring their personal baggage. You want to be successful, be a solopreneur, be a kitchen table millionaire. Do your marketing. That's attraction marketing. If you see, if you watch any of my videos, I do warm calls only. I have people who schedule with me or I return calls to people who have contacted me. Only warm calls. And you do that through attraction marketing. You're putting out a lot of content to people and you use the gut sales method. Three little steps, three little staircases. If you want the book, give me a call. I answer my own phone. It's right there on the 619-206-5960. Give me a call or come on zoomclaw.com and I'll get you the book uh, on how to sell with guts. Okay. People always say to me, Claude, I'll do anything on, you know, and everything. But when it comes down to it, what is one of the greatest fears, other than public speaking, what is one of the greatest fears a lot of people have, even so-called professional salespeople? It's picking up the phone and calling people and reinventing, being, being a thespian, being a partial actor, and also being um, a therapist, a person, a psychologist, someone who understands, well, how do you get people you know, to know, like, and trust you. If you know, I'm a big fan of Robert Cialdini. I always talk about, you know, how to stroking and nurturing and asking questions with redirection and so many different techniques of persuasion that can make you unlimited wealth. Okay. And I'm not talking get rich quick or any of that stuff. Sales is the million dollar skill, but throw away the scripts. They're caca guys. They're garbage. They really are. They just don't work. Let's go to it. Let's get another. Let's go look at another dopey script here. Uh, or let's go back to the one we had there before. Um, let me see if I can do this a little different. If I can use a better share here uh, with you guys. Um, no. Okay. We're just going to stay the way we are. I'm just going to open this up. You can see the screen. Uh Hi, I can come to your house and likely buy it as is and close as soon as you're ready. I'll pay the closing costs, which is several 
thousand dollars but the only way to do that is me for you to take over your debt that means i'll buy your house and make the payments but the loan will stay in your name okay nothing about the violation of the due on sale or acceleration clause every mortgage has it just about okay um doesn't mean they're going to take them uh they're going to call in the no note or loan but it means the possibility exists there be careful on this stuff um uh, here i want i want the loan out of my name well i understand this but the only way i can buy is if the loan stays in your name have enough strategies so that if they want the loan in their name okay and they just negotiate a lease purchase it's real easy okay a rent to own and that way the mortgage can stay in their name the deed can stay in their name but you have total control you can live in it you can rent it you can sell it you can sublet it you can assign or arbitrage it or wholesale it some people call it um oh here we go let's go to the appointment script that was a good that was a good one too uh let's go to this one uh, okay what would be the least you could accept on the price if we agree on terms and then shut up is that the best you can do? No, nah, this isn't that bad. I'm not going to be over critical here on this. Um, what would be, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, what would be the best price you could give me if we could do a deal today? What would be the lowest price? Can you do better than that? Is that your lowest price? If I could do all cash, could we do that? And here's two words I want to teach you guys, okay? Real important when you're speaking. Go to the prospect, say, I can give you either price or terms. If you want price, that means all cash. I can give you that um but you need to but we need a better price if we're going to have our dollars work for us and our investors we need a better price if you want full price we can do that too but we have to do terms subject to owner finance uh, create a note on the equity or do my favorite a lease purchase I've written several books on lease purchasing it gives you the control without the liability and it's real easy to explain to people it's just basically like leasing a car or renting to own and there's the uh, there you have to use the right contracts for that and the right sales approach too let's uh let's go back to uh, some more of these I love these scripts here um uh, I think we um also could 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 you have the paper you received at closing ready when I arrive uh there's really no reason for me to come over until you're ready so use DocuSign use DocuSign the bottom line is take responsibility for your business call up people I don't care if you go to Zillow the MLS work with some agents go into Craigslist go into Trulia Redfin there's tons of resources out there and people are inviting you to call them but if you sound exactly like the other 10 people who called them previously your rejection rate goes up to 99 percent plus you've got to be original you've got to be creative and you've got to use pattern interrupts hello Mr and Mrs Prospect Mr Smith sorry it took me so long to get back to you that property must be gone by now oh it's available I'd like to make you an offer today do you mind if I ask you two, one or two quick questions you asked me a few I'll make you an offer if we can do business today great if not would you do me a personal favor and, and um fire me tell me to get lost just say no Nancy Reagan right okay you've got to reinvent yourself and the way you get really good at this is you practice this a lot you learn the gut sales method you practice learning how to ask questions a lot okay I practice everywhere I do this every day I get um you know I just took a flight I was in the airport I was at the coffee shop uh people sitting next to me uh one woman was holding a book I, do you like that book is that a good reach I read a lot of books should I buy that book boom it's so easy to learn how to get people to know like and trust you pay attention to you to take you seriously but if you're doing the same old boring stuff that everybody else does with you're reading this script you know and and you're getting this rejection rate you're going to start procrastinating you guys want to can you you know Jack Nicholson can you handle the truth okay the truth is you get too much rejection we're frail you know egotistical little human beings and if we get too much rejection what's going to happen you know what's going to happen don't you you know you're gonna you know you're gonna get um you're gonna procrastinate oh maybe it's time to clean the bathroom or something like that right and you're just going to get tired sales is the million dollar skill though guys you can make as much money as you want if you have a good product or service I know a lot of you follow me are in real estate but I also have clients in insurance and financial services and stuff you've got to be superb in your ability to persuade and influence another person you've got to have a system you've got to learn to fake it until you make it fly by the seat of your pants be so confident and have so much fun 
with the prospect. So even when they say no, or they reject you, or they're rude, you have a solution right away. Okay, it's not that scripts are, are, are horrendous. Um, the trouble is they they do, and there's too many scripts. There's too many variables. And when you sit, when you really think about it, most of your conversations have the same questions and things like that. Okay, and you can have a little fun. You can do a little schmoozing and so forth. But you want to make it an experience where you're ner nervous about. Oh shit, the script is on page eighty four. Where one second, Mister Prospect, I got to find this. You know, you, you want to practice it enough and you want to understand the logic how do you get people to say yes how do you persuade and influence how do you become a one percenter because when you're good at sales no i'll take that back when you become great superb exquisite at sales understanding human behavior you have a blank check in front of you the rest of your life yes you really do but if you're just doing the same old tired stuff, it, I call it guts for a reason. Great, untraditional, unorthodox techniques of sales. If you have a system and you practice, this is what I do with my students, by the way. Every Monday we do a group call, we practice, we role play. Then I do private training sessions with my students. So when they get off the phone, they're all warmed up like in the batter's box. And they're warmed up and then they go and make those calls or they do a little attraction marketing. I'll talk more about that in another live session but it's it, we wait you guys want to you want more a little more truth can i give you a little bit more we're wasting too much time on too many uh too many people with training too many third parties management companies virtual assistants click funnels we're wasting too much time what you can do right now is challenge yourself to speak to a few people every day taking total responsibility for your business, for your marketing, for your sales. One person, okay? I've been doing this. I used to have employees. I used to have an outside office. It was a waste of time and money. I trained people and then they'd leave and go to another job or something after I spent hours and hours investing my time with them. Then, you know, uh, offices and things like that or me getting in my car and driving to people. Today, we have the technology where one person with a good iPhone and I say iPhone on purpose. I'm not trying to piss off you Android people, but iPhone has something real built in that's fantastic. It's called FaceTime. So when you make phone calls to people and you get them on the phone, you can hit a button and go to a video call. Why? Because when you can look, the eyes are the windows to the soul. When you look at somebody, can't you tell when they're fidgeting, when they're distracted, when they're changing? Um, it's, it's a much better device. And then you have a good, get yourself a good laptop. I have a MacBook Air. I love it. I, it's easy to travel with. It's almost as thin as my iPad now. And I get people on Zoom. I talk to a few people. I make offers. I mentor and coach people. I sell products. I do real estate deals and offers. And I do this all by, and if you could just copy people who are successful, look at what they're doing. Okay, the people are telling you, well, you've got to hire a team, an acquisition manager, you're v the nice sort of VA in the third world country who speaks bad English. Okay, that, that stuff doesn't work, in my opinion. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It, it works. It just doesn't work well. And it takes too much time and energy and money. Instead, kitchen table millionaire. You pick up the phone, you call a few people, you do a little attraction marketing, like I'm doing right now. Put out content, put it out information. Go to my webpage, claudediamond.com. You can get a free book. You can get a, a free 15-minute consultation with me. Pick my brain, okay? You don't have to say he'll think about it. You can just say, thanks, Claude, bye-bye. It's okay. But putting out enough content and talking to enough people, it's the, it sounds almost too simple, doesn't it? It's really amazing. It almost sounds too simple. Forget about the scripts. This is your takeaway because I got to leave. I'm going to go take a run in a while. That's why I'm in my, uh, um, I love champion clothing, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm not endorsed by them, but some of the best clothing. If you're a person who exercise, I exercise every day. I run every day. I swim every day. I sauna every day. Keeps you young and healthy. At least gives you a full head of hair, I think, anyway. <laughs> but.
do the things that can make you money today. Why are we in business? To make money today. What are the things you can do? A lot of busy work? Or what's the one thing you can do today? Speak to your prospects. For those of you in real estate, they're begging you to call you. Call you. They're advertising. They're putting it out there. Just make sure you're speaking to the right person. You're qualifying them. You're using stroking, nurturing, empathy with redirection. You know, and you're doing uh, guts is a lot about the psychology, understanding how other people think, what's their oxygen. And when you when you understand how they think, how they breathe, you reduce your rejection rate. When you reduce the I'll think about it, I'll talk to my spouse, uh, call me in two weeks. That's nonsense. You don't make money. And you can do, I have done deals in one phone call. I have made offers that were accepted in one phone call. I have made significant income on some speaking to the speaking to one the first person on the first day it's because you have the million dollar skill the superpower of gut selling this is what it's all about all the other stuff is just busy work distracting and it costs you a lot of money the one thing it worked for me i'm nobody special okay uh, but the one thing i learned from my mentor is how to give good phone and if you can do that everything else will fall into place. That's my word on that. It's my mission in life to share with you guys all the stuff, walking on the hot calls, seminar after seminar, motivation speech after motive. You only want one thing. You want to take care of your responsibilities, take care of your family, and enjoy this uh, journey we call life, okay, without going to bed worrying about paying the cable bill. So, Get out there, learn guts, go to ClaudeDiamond.com, get a free book, get a free tra training session, or call me. I answer my own phone. The phone number is here on the screen somewhere. And um, focus on the ability to sell, persuade, and influence and convince other people. Get to yes in the first phone call. Remember, nobody deserves success more than you good people. Thanks for joining me, um, letting me uh, vent about scripts really suck. Throw away the scripts, work on the logic, work on a system. And then you practice that system with your coach and you get so good at sales that you do, it's automatic. It's like getting in your car. Do you remember when you first learned how to drive, it was white knuckle time, you know, foot on the brake and turn the key. Well, now it's push button. I showed my age here. Um, the thing about it is, you got really good at it. You get in your car today. You don't even think about it. It's so automatic. Sales can be the same way where you're in total control. Totally. Can you imagine for a moment? You're totally confident. You're calling up strangers and you're saying and you're saying the right pattern interrupt uh, uh, with them. OK, and you're just you're in control. You're the doctor in the room and they're the patient. That's your attitude. I got to go, guys. I went way too long here. Um, I just got a little triggered by looking at these script, these nonsense scripts that don't work. I'm sorry. You need logic. You need a system. You need, you need to know how to communicate to people the right way on a daily, consistent basis. You'll make all the money you need, honestly. Take care.